Hey, this is 675C, the C channel, and um, we're going to start off now with actually doing some code. So, you're going to open it up. You won't see these things. It'll probably be empty here, and you're going to have welcome guide and that sort of stuff. You will have a thing that says um, something and uh, that asks you to uh, agree with or something to add them. Um, just go ahead and press OK to that. Um... You can just close the welcomes and you'll have a blank one. Now, you want to get started on coding. So, to start coding, you're going to go up here to pros and create a new pros project. I'll call this one um, motors. Uh, okay. So, you make the pros project, it'll be in a file, and you'll have these. So, um, let's go through the files. Um, the main ones you want are auto, init, and op control to be open. Auto, this is your autonomous. Uh, this is initializing, so if you have sensors and stuff you want to initialize, you put it here. And op control, this is operational control, this is the code that runs when you're actually controlling the robot with the controller. Your includes, um, this is where you put your .h files that you want to call from. You have your main, you're gonna put some things here and then initialize it in the init and you have your API. This one is really important. Uh, let's see. Your API, this one has a catalog of almost everything you can run in pros. If you want to find something, just press Control F and search it up. So, motor, and then just skim through it until you find what you're looking for. Um, so, let's start with op control. Um, what I'm going to go to now is here, we can keep the API open for now. Um, you have your main. I'm just gonna delete this stuff here. Uh, so your includes main. This is going to basically copy and paste everything you have in your um, main folder into right here. It just shortens important stuff for you. Okay. So now, where you want to start writing code is between your while and your delay. What this is doing is it up it updates every 20 milliseconds. So uh, this is in milliseconds, I'm pretty sure. Um, so y if you guys have done robots, you might be familiar with this stuff. But um, I'm gonna run through some basic stuff like um, you have your int. It's positive and negative whole numbers. Um, you have your double or float. I think you guys use float and C and this is your decimal points. Um, you have, uh, let's see, what else, uh, bool, this is boolean, true or false, and you have your, um, char, which is equal to one, one character. Let me just write that out. After everything, you always want to put a, um, semicolon after it uh when you're defining global variables and including you don't so right here you see you don't put a, a a semicolon after that but you do for these um okay so okay uh, you're gonna get some warnings because you don't use them. Uh, you don't need to worry about that right now. Um, next, we're going to go into motors. Um, so for motors, do you want to do motor set and then unassigned charge channel? This is the port you want to put it in. Um, I'm gonna put mine for port two. And your int speed, you're gonna have it uh, go, let's say, 100 and semicolon. Now, your speed can range from 
negative 127 to 127. Negative is backwards, which is counterclockwise. 127 is forwards, which is clockwise. Now, if you run this, this is going to have this motor run continuously. You can't change it. So what we need to do is we need to get some controls into here. So to get your controls, what you want to do is uh, joystick get analog now the first one is going to be your controller so in with the um, old vex ones you can have two controllers and usually you just use one and then you put your axis um, these are written on your controller um, I'll flash a picture of it up right now and uh, you can see the joysticks have in total, there are two joysticks. Each joystick have two axes, the horizontal and the vertical. I'm going to put this for uh, joystick 1. So this is on the horizontal, um, right horizontal. So your joystick gives you a value between negative 127 and 127, just like this. So what you want to do is just take this and put this in here. Now, this works, but the thing is, some joysticks, they're not perfect. When you don't hold them, they're not always going to be at zero. So, what you want to do is make a dead zone. So, we're going to make a dead zone by saying, if joystick get analog, one comma one. is less than 15 oh actually uh, you want to do ABS what this does is takes the absolute value so this asks if the absolute value of the joystick is less than 15 uh, oh. you're gonna motor motor set what mode do we put it at? 2, and you're going to set that to 0 power. And then you're going to say else you're going to put it to the power of the joystick. And I'm going to say dead zone. So this is setting your motor in port 2 to either uh, 0 if it's less than 15 or the joystick value if it's above 15. That gets rid of your motors creeping if they, if you let go. So um, now I'm going to actually show you guys a download code. Okay, so what you want to do is connect your... Cortex to your um, computer. Okay, once you have it connected, what you have to do is build and then download. So you have to do both of these processes. First, you have to do you have to build. To do that, press F9, save and build. And it'll go through stuff. And once you have that green flash, that means you're uh, you're okay to go. And next, you do Control F9. What this is doing now is downloading to your bot. Just wait a few seconds, and your download is complete. Now, once you have onto your controller, you can see that. When I move it horizontally on this axis, it's moving here. It's moving this motor here. Well, that's it for this video. Um, subscribe and for more videos and uh, stay tuned for sensors.